is Roger once again on the hunt for health and homing in a little bit, I think. Now, bacteria under the microscope. We've been talking about bacteria, pathogens, that kind of stuff in your body. Good stuff and bad stuff. Now, how do you know what you have? There's a bazillion of them. Well, I got a little bit of an idea what might work. I don't know, but maybe somebody can look into it. Now, so morphology, discussion types, habitat, da da da, da. Like archaeans, that's the ancient of ancients, bacteria are prokaryotic cells. That means that they are single-celled organisms without a nucleus membrane, which is the envelope that surrounds a nuclear, membrane, uh, nuclear envelope. While they are very small, listen to this now, they are diverse and vary in shape and size and also color, I am certain. Now, what could we use that with? Let's think about that. Alright, if you could submit a sample, or even take a sample at home, and be able to take a picture of it, and use facial recognition, only it would be bacteria recognition software, to see what you have and in what quantities, that would be pretty interesting capability. You know, you got yeast, you got fungus. There are all kinds of pathogens that could be in you. You got parasites. I mean, you got everything. Now, what I'm talking about is being able to take a literal picture with your own cell phone and upload that into software that would understand the picture that you were taking. Because these new cell phones are, eight by, are unbelievable, and I'll show you why I can say that factually. Okay, this demonstrates, uh, well, it talks about using unmodified, unmodified camera phones. So once you're in your own pocket to be able to take pictures of, the, the, you know, nanoliter volumes, tiny, tiny little volumes in what they call a slip chip. It's a, whole, it's a thing with a whole batch of little boxes in it, and there's reactant substances in each one of the boxes and then you fill it with blood and you put a slip over the top of it and then you you let it fester for a, a bit and then you take a picture of it now then you send that picture in and if there's a certain color or whatever the case it turns into a crystal whatever it might be but it, it can look with just a simple camera now I don't see any reason that if they can do that, why can't they look at the pathogens? So here's what they're, you know, these little bugs and things that I was just talking about now. So here's what the, these are the papers on it. Anyway, digital single molecule technology, expanding diagnostic capabilities. They enable the ultra sensitive quantification of targets. How much is there? Such as viral load and HIV, hepatitis C infections by directly counting single molecules that is serious business now this is the part that stimulates me is replacing the fluorescent readout with a robust visual readout that can be captured by any unmodified cell phone camera will facilitate the global distribution of diagnostic tests we need these including in limited resource settings where the need is greatest these people have nothing they have nothing. Just the, but they they all have a cell phone. I tell you, I see all these Indians and everything walking around with cell phones all over in, a, in the Amazon. It's amazing, you know. Anyway, this is a, it's a, it's something somebody should look into. I certainly can't do it, but I see all of these things should be put into a snowball. Somebody, you know, there's a lot of snowflakes laying around and never get put into a snowball. <laughs>